Have you heard of the global silent killer? It's silent because it has no signs or symptoms. 95% of us here today will develop it in our lifetime. And sadly, one in six of us will die because of it. This is what we call a crisis of global proportion. And this killer I'm referring to is high blood pressure. The problem is treatments that are available to all of us today are not adequate. So what is our solution? An inventive strategy that targets these newly discovered molecules called oxylipins. Now you all know oxylipins and the power they hold because everyone has had a fever and likely take an aspirin to bring down your temperature. Well, it's oxylipins that induced your fever and aspirin stopped the enzymes in your body from producing more oxylipins. But oxylipins don't only cause fevers. In fact, they regulate many things. Think of them as the traffic lights of your body. They regulate the flow of your immune system, inflammation, and yes, even blood pressure. But how do oxylipins regulate our blood pressure? They have the unique ability to either constrict or dilate our blood vessels, as indicated above. Now this is important, because high blood pressure is often the result of our blood vessels becoming constricted and narrowed, resulting in our heart having to work harder in order to produce a higher amount of pressure to push our blood through our narrowed blood vessels. What I have found is that we have the ability to inhibit a particular enzyme in our body and therefore decrease the concentration of oxylipins that constrict our blood vessels. And this is an inventive and effective way of lowering blood pressure. The interesting thing is, it was not a drug that we gave to our patients to lower their blood pressure. In fact, what we gave them is something we grow right here in our prairies. Something that everyone can purchase from the store today. And that? is flaxseed. The impact of this research on all of us is significant because it means if we cannot control our blood pressure with medication, cannot afford our medication, or if we prefer a dietary approach, we now have an alternative strategy. So tell me, will you make the decision today to add flaxseed to your diet? The choice is in your hands.